Let's take a look at how to use your C13 Yoga as a tablet with the stylus. First, when you flip your, your yoga screen around to turn it into a tablet, you'll probably want to prevent the screen from constantly rotating around as you move about your classroom. So I'm going to do that by going down to the bottom right hand corner and clicking on the time. Then right underneath this Wi-Fi bar, you'll see a little button that says lock horizontal or auto rotate. I'm going to keep mine on lock horizontal. Then if you keep looking down in that bottom right hand corner, there's a little button for the stylus that you can click on. And we're going to look at a couple of the features here. You can click on laser pointer and that will just allow you to highlight parts of your presentation. The magnifying glass allows you to zoom in on things. And then there's the option to screen capture, which just takes a screenshot of the portion of the page you highlight and to create a note. If you're not seeing the option right here to create a note, that's just because you haven't enabled the note taking app on your device. So you'll just need to click on the settings button right over in the top right. And then over here in the middle, uh, you'll just select keep notes where I've already enabled it on mine. So let's go back to the stylus options by clicking on that pen down in the bottom right corner. And then I'm gonna click here on create note. Whenever you click on create note, it automatically opens up a note for you with the option for you to type on it. And since I'm in tablet mode, it gives me this on-screen keyboard. But if you would prefer to draw, you can just click on the plus. Let me get rid of the keyboard. You can click on this little plus button down in the corner and then select drawing. Now I've got a nice whiteboard on my screen that I can draw on. If you want a specific type of paper here, go up to the top right hand corner, click on the three vertical dots, and then click on show grid. And now I've got the option for some graph paper, line paper, or some dotted paper. And that's what I've enabled there. I wanted to also show you how to annotate on top of a PDF. That's another feature that comes with the stylus. The PDF must be downloaded directly onto your computer though. So you'll need to go into your downloads, not into your Google Drive, and bring up a PDF. Now something new that I've got this PDF open is this little pencil icon over here next to the download button. Once I click on that pencil icon, it gives me the option here to have a pen, or a highlighter so that I can annotate on top of this document.